So, I thought, like, I've been thinking for the longest of trying to start a fucking, I want to say YouTube channel, podcast, re, like, formulating my Instagram. I don't fucking know. Like, re, what's the word? Remarketing or re, rebranding. But it is so hard because I am so fucking busy in, like, the worst way. Like, I'm always fucking tired here. It's just a lot. Um, but definitely wanted to start, like, not even a vlog, but, like, a, a debrief thing of, like, my days here in Vancouver because, damn, like, a bitch is fucking, what's the word, exhausted. So, um, let's just get with it. First of all, ain't no niggas. Okay. There's no fucking niggas. And when I mean niggas, I mean people of 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 African American descent. It's I found only like three of them bitches. Three. Maybe four. Um but I think like this being my very first like experience with cultures outside of blackness. Um and like a safe space in a community of like blackness it's hard for me to kind of like navigate my personalities or not personalities with s like i just i got multiple personalities but just like um navigating my experiences and like my thoughts and like my feelings with like people who i live with for one because again thinking about like being at Spelman, i lived in a dorm full of women that looked like me you know a lot of girls had like these weird open door like friendships where like Girls just in the hallway just being real nice and just open and friendly. Um, but it's it's so comforting to like insert yourself in those spaces or gain friendships amongst those types of people that are like you because you kind of like, I don't know, I feel like with blackness and like being a person of color, you get like this sense of like family and like community. Like it's just automatic sometimes. Um, and so for like being here, it's so many layers to like dealing with and like understanding like my experiences of like being in, like introduced to like not even a PWI, but like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's very white. It's very Asian. It's very South Asian, Southeast Asian. It's a lot. So I think the hard part for me is like being my most authentic self and, and not censoring or like code switching like my conversations with other people so for instance um when i talk to people where who i live with it's it's very hard to kind of like engage in some conversations sometimes because of my geographical like placement like in america and then also being black and being in a very black city so like American issues and policies and pop culture don't resonate with them because there's like these like great borders that like distance us and that knowledge um, and then a lot of times just even that layer of like blackness makes it harder as well so like if I wanted to reference like some black shit or speak in like my like what they call native tongue i'm gonna call it my native tongue too like just how i speak with other black folks that shit is hard they used to be looking at me like i'm crazy or they like not nah, like mm -hmm. like i agree and this is like if you don't just say you don't um but i i definitely can see how this experience can make me more diverse but it's also very very hard like living in a very reduced space of like blackness and identity because I have been protected for so long and so much of like blackness so black elementary school black high school black college I mean all of my departments were black my professors were black everybody in my class was black so having these conversations about like especially my master's program about racism and like white supremacy and all of these things or so easy to talk about and like engage with because of the experiences that we all kind of you know shared but it's like now one i feel like the classes are way much harder i don't know who the hell they hired these professors ain't no joke 
they are their language that they use to break down and like conceptualize like social justice and the intersection of like race and gender is so like abstract and so complex like I have not I have never been challenged this hard since I was in IB and that was in what high school so I think there's so many like battles and layers that I'm trying to tackle right now um like being here and it being my first I think as of what Friday would be you know Thursday would be like, like my first month here um it's just like the multitude of like knowledge that I'm taking in like academically and then the knowledge that I'm taking in like socially and the knowledge that I'm taking in like geographically and like this this new like land that I'm trying to conquer but um it's definitely been very challenging like in all aspects of like moving as like a black woman here um and even just looking at some of the queer spaces that I have been to and it's it's just different um definitely uh I'm just trying to like work this shit out like it's very very hard but I'm writing a lot uh, I'm trying to get like these writings out on my blog um and I'm trying to speak more and like work through my actual work here at school because this shit is it's ridiculous I need to um I need to like post some screenshots of like some of the things that I've been reading because it's so dense like think of the hardest shit you ever had to read but that's just the whole fucking like syllabus for the whole school year so um I don't know and then I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna finish for sure. Like, a bitch is gonna get this fucking PhD. I don't give a fuck. I don't care how fucking hard the class is. I don't care how monotonous the readings are. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna get my PhD for sure. I just know I have to, like, talk through and work through a lot of the, 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 the feelings that I'm going through right now because, I mean, damn, I've been gone for a month. And like my car is fucking gone. Um, it's fucking raining every day. I sprained my ankle. Like I haven't been going to the gym. I mean, I wasn't going to the gym before that, but y'all know why. But either way, I still wanted to like, you know, go to the gym and like get my shit back together. But it's just like so many fucking things are going on and I'm just like so fucking tired. So um we just gonna work this shit out. But for people who just keep asking Vancouver is cool. The weather is fucking weird now. It was really, really nice. Like, the summertime, everything was really, really weird. Um, but it's just raining a lot because it's transitioning to, like, the fall and the winter. So, it's raining, it's dark, it's cold, and it's wet. Um, the people are very nice, but that doesn't mean everybody's your fucking friend. That doesn't mean you want to connect with everybody. Um, uh, it's, it's just a lot. So, again, I'm just trying to figure this shit out and i'm just trying to work through it on my own but i definitely appreciate literally everybody who has checked in everybody who has asked me like how i'm doing and just you know seeing how i'm doing with school like i really 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 appreciate that a whole lot um shout out to my best friend summer bitch you know who you are um i talk to her literally every day and she always like grounds me and supports me and she's been there like since the day I left I really appreciate you so much um I'm gonna call you later but for the most part a bitch is fucking tired and the culture shock is real and I'm going through it now so y'all just pray for me bear with me like because this is like a whole lot so